Hello everyone, this is Anthony Fasano, your engineering career coach. In this video, I want to talk to you about the importance of setting goals in your engineering career. Unfortunately, so many engineers fail to do this and they have no direction in their career. Whether you're a recent graduate or you're an experienced engineer, you must have clearly defined goals to be successful in your engineering career. There are plenty of sessions with my podcast, The Engineering Career Coach, where you'll hear me walk engineers through setting their goals and I hope that those are helpful to you. However, in this short video, I'm actually going to give you some steps for brainstorming and starting to set your goals. These are things that I go into detail in my book, Engineering Your Own Success, in chapter one. I talk about setting goals, putting together plans, and achieving your goals, which is most important. But let's get started with this tutorial so that you can start setting goals in your engineering career today. Do you have clearly defined goals in your career? You absolutely should. These goals act as a destination. And what I mean by that, I'll use another analogy. Let's say you were to get in your car. You're going to go somewhere. You've never been there before. There's one piece of critical information that you need. The address. Once you have the address of this location, then it's easy. You can put it in GPS. You can put it in Google Maps. And it'll, it'll guide you. That address or that destination is similar to the goals, a goal or goals in your career. Because if you know where you're headed, it becomes a lot easier to get there. And to take the analogy one step further, let's say you drive up to an intersection. And you have to go left or right. If you have your address and it's punched into the GPS, it's easy. It's going to say, oh, take a right, go this way. If you don't know where you're going, you're not going to know which way to turn, right? Well, think of that intersection as a decision in your career. You make decisions every day. Should I go to graduate school? Should I get an MBA or a master's in engineering? Should I work for a big company or a small company? Should I go into this discipline or this discipline? These are questions that we help our Institute for Engineering Career Development members answer every day as well as those engineers that come onto the engineering career coach podcast and the way that we do that is we drill down and we help them to set goals because that's how you make decisions so let's do that right now let me explain to you in, in chapter one of my book engineer your own success i go through this in detail but now i want to at least give you some of the key steps for setting goals so you can start the process today when you set your goals the first thing you want to do is Think about your values. And you should do this whole process with a blank piece of paper and a brainstorming process. But you want to think about your values and what's and what I mean by that is what's important to you. For example, family. Do you want to be in a certain geographic location in your career? Do you need to be close to your family or extended family? Do you want to work outdoors, indoors? Do you want to work a certain number of hours per week? You know, ask yourself these types of questions before you start the goal setting process. This is really the first step, right? Because if you start setting goals and you, and you don't ensure that they're in alignment with your values, then you're never going to be happy in your career. And as engineers, an easier way to say it or an easy analogy to give you is setting goals and pursuing them without making sure that they're aligned with your values is like building a house without building a foundation, without the proper foundation. It won't last. For example, let's say that you really value being close to your extended family, your aunts, uncles, cousins, and you take a, a great job comes up and it's like double what you're making now and it's you know across the country on the other side of the country and you see the money and you say, oh, this is great, I want to take it, but you ignore your values of being close to your extended family. You're going to take the job and go because the money looks good, but when you're there, you're going to be miserable because it's not in line with what who you are and what you love. So that's very important. Then you start to ask yourself questions like, where do I want to be? The first question you should ask is, where do I want to be in my engineering career in two, five, or ten years? Whatever is a comfortable time frame for you. Some people say, I can't look that far ahead. Others say, I want to look that far ahead. So pick what's comfortable for you or do multiple years. Do one at five years, one at 10 years. Once you've done that, you want to ask the most important question next, which is why. 
why do I want to achieve that goal? Or why do I want to be there in my career? This is where you're really going to find out what your true goals are. And I'm going to give you an example of this. I was coaching a, a woman once who was an engineer and she was very stressed out. So I tried to you know step back and start, start from the beginning with her. And I asked her, you know, where do you want to go in your career? You know, what are the, what are the big things you want to do? And she said, well, and this is exactly what she said. She said, I want to make $4 million so that I can give a lot of money back to the school that I went to because I want to give back to them. I want to help the other students there. I, I want to help. So I said, okay, that's interesting. I said, tell me exactly why you want to do that. And she said, well, I feel indebted to them and I want to help them and I want to help their students. I want to give back. They got me to where I am today. I said, okay, I said, let me ask you this. What if you were to contact the school and say, listen, I really want to give back to the school. Can I come and speak to the students a couple of times a year and provide them with career guidance and give them some tips on the experience that I've gained as an engineer? She said, oh yeah, I can do that. I said, listen, why don't you, I said, why don't you do that? Save yourself $4 million and still help people on a regular basis. And she kind of laughed at first, but then it was kind of like, wow, you're right. And, and and the thing and the point of the story is that all she wanted to do was help people, give back to her school and help people. She didn't have to give them four million dollars, but she created that number in her mind, and it was putting so much pressure on her to succeed that it was wearing her out because she wasn't totally aligned with why she wanted to do it. And then the last question you could ask yourself is, how do I get there? Right? I mean, you know where you want to go, you know why you want to go there. The how is fairly simple, especially for us engineers. I mean, when I say simple, I don't mean the whole process of achieving a goal is simple, but I mean, if you're an engineer and your goal is to get a PE license, you're going to know what steps you need to take. You're going to have to get the application. You're going to have to maybe take a review course, prepare, study. So, so that's just like putting the actual plan together. And once you've done all those steps, then you can really formulate and prioritize your goals and you can really put time deadlines to them, which will be helpful. And in my book, I get a little bit more into different methods like the SMART method for, for achieving your goals and talk a little bit about more about big picture goals. Um, but for now, this will definitely get you started and try to get you more, a little bit more aligned with where you want to go.